Welcome back to Done With Depression. Today I'm going to be doing a video on why I don't drink alcohol. But first, I had a friend that hit me up on Instagram and he makes beats. And he watched some of the videos and noticed that we have music playing in the background most of the time. And so we hooked up and he gave us some free beats to use in the video. So I'll put a link in the description with all of his info in there and I'll probably have it on the bottom here somewhere. But he has an Instagram and he has his own website that you can check out really easy to navigate. And he does different music collaborations and stuff like that. So all the music that you hear today will be by him. And let's get on with the video. So to start off with why I don't drink, we have to start off with why I did drink. And so I started drinking probably my sophomore year of high school, I think. And it was just with a friend and we started drinking and we kind of got into it a little bit more, things like that. But backstory, my whole dad's side of the family are all alcoholics, literally everyone. My dad, both of his brothers, both of his parents, everyone. And so I kind of knew that it was a thing, but I still did it anyway. But I eventually stopped drinking when I turned 21, which is kind of ironic because that's the legal age to drink here. But essentially what was happening was I was blacking out and I was blacking out sooner and sooner each time to where I maybe it took 10 drinks to black out the first time and then it was less and less each time to black out to where I could have maybe three or four drinks and I would black out. And the problem with that is when I blacked out, I continued to drink. So I would wake up the next morning and they'd be like, oh yeah, we were playing beer pong last night and you made the winning shot and blah, blah, blah. And I didn't remember any of it. I didn't even remember playing beer pong and I blacked out significantly before that. So with that happening, it kind of got scary that I was blacking out sooner and sooner and I kind of realized that because I had um, all of the factors on my dad's side and that I was blacking out and it was continuing to happen, that it probably wasn't a good idea to drink. So around when I was 21-ish, I stopped drinking and didn't really drink for a long time until uh, last year. And so last year when I was really struggling with depression and all of that, I drank until I blacked out again and just fell asleep in my bed. And my mom came home and saw me and knew something wasn't right. And sister came over and I ended up going to the ER that night and or I think it was the next day I went to the ER something like that but that was kind of the start of me getting some help with my depression and suicidal ideations so since then I don't drink and when I say I don't drink I mean I actually don't drink a lot of people say they don't drink which to them means oh I only have one or two or I don't get drunk but to me, I just don't drink, I choose not to. It's not worth it for me, it's not a healthy thing for me. And so I just choose not to do it. And it is kind of weird sometimes when other people are doing it or you go out and everyone gets a drink and you get something else and they go, oh, you don't drink and then you kind of have to explain your whole story. But most of the time people understand um, that there's alcoholism in my family and it's not worth it to go down that road and especially with um, depression and things like that alcohol is a depressant and so if you're depressed and suicidal you don't need more help being depressed but anyway that's my story on why I don't drink hope you guys enjoyed it and you like the music and go check out Ironhead at his website and I'll see you guys soon